Coach, tell us about this uh, the playoff run, the three wins, getting to the Final Four. What's the what's the big picture overview here for you guys uh, heading into a game uh, against number one seeded Nantucket? We'll get to them in a minute. But <laughs> Here you go. G- g- give us your thoughts on on give us your thoughts on on the playoffs. Yeah, as the season started to come to a close, we were definitely keeping our eye out on the power rankings, and um, you know we we knew we were doing pretty well. With, you know, obviously wins and losses were coming in at you know 15, 14, 15 and out in one and. We're thinking, all right, maybe we'll get you know a nice, good ranking here. But then uh, we we're all pretty disappointed when it, when they finally came out at, with the 13th spot. But we we're thrilled to get that home that first home game. I know that was kind of one of our goals going into the beginning of the season was to make the playoffs and get a home game out of it. And that's what we got. So we're pretty happy with that. And um, then we had you know Linfield obviously in that in that second round and. That was kind of a rematch of the first game, which uh, was definitely one of the early battle for both of us. It was a one-goal game, and yeah. it was uh, pretty exciting. We're thrilled to kind of basically re- repeat a lot of the same stuff we were able to do in the first game. You know that those power rankings uh, to see you guys doing what you're doing is not a complete surprise necessarily, as I see it necessarily, because. Like I said, I thought I totally agree with you. I thought your power ranking was going to be much higher than it was. You know, you know, under. Seven, maybe I have no idea. Right. You know, you you follow it closer than I do, but uh, you know, yeah, look, is that what you are thinking like that? Look at comparable teams, maybe higher and even comparable than that. Scores and who we beat. You know, we, we beat Linfield, we beat Pentucket, we beat a lot. You know, Marblehead, we beat a lot of play- Masco, went through twice. Those are all yeah. playoff bound teams, and you know, all with maybe not the best records or the best scores, but it's so dependent on scores. That what ended up, I think, hurting us on the power rankings was the one we had seven one goal games this season, and luckily we we're six and one on them. So I think that's what hurt us the most in the power rankings. So we knew we were going to be pretty good as long as we could keep um, keep everything rolling and you know play our game. And a W is a W, so we'll take it. Yeah. What? Tell me about the Cohasset game, the one goal win. What? What? How did that? Tell us how that all played out. Well, we just kind of kept grinding, and we didn't have to, like there was no X's and O's changing. We we stuck to what we were trying to do. We made um, a couple adjustments on defense, uh, but for the most part, we stuck to what we wanted to do offensively. And it was, once we started getting more patient and waited for our shots, that's when things started to fall. I know second quarter, we, you know, we took a couple bad shots. That uh, won the goalie stick. Uh, threw a ball away a couple times. You know, four or five yeah. turnovers, and you're giving a really good team a, a second opportunity. And once we stopped doing that, then we started to control things. And uh, the fourth quarter, the defense was just outstanding. Yeah. Uh, Timmy was outstanding again, and really just shut everything down. You know, the the Timmy Tim mentioned in it, and when we talked to him just a moment ago, that the defense has really come together this year for the team. And uh, and you don't get to this point without that part of the game stepping up for sure. But is that the big factor? Do you think Absolutely. the defense from last year to this year? You know. Yeah, and I look at you know our scores and everything, and you know we're scoring you know 10, 12. I think we're averaging like 15, you know 12 a game. And um, to think that we're a defensive team with an average of 12 a game is. is pretty crazy but our defense is like six a game so yeah. I think we've, we've uh, only had nine scored on us like once this year or once or twice this year yeah. so the defense has definitely been a strong point for our team for the year and yeah coming from last year I know with Jaden Melowitz and Sam Brodsky and a lot of those kids coming back from last year they've had a lot of experience you know Jay and Sam have been starting since they were freshmen and uh, they just kind of kept that going. All right, Nantucket, the number one seeded number team. One At least seed. you're not playing them out on the island, you know. That but, is very but, true. Great but, uh, equalizer there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that would be the equalizer, but yeah, you're on, you're on the mainland, so to speak. So, yeah. what can you tell me about Nantucket? They've got a lot of talent. Um, you know, they've got a great midfielder, a great, a couple of great attackmen, a great faceoff, great D, great goalie. So there's not a lot of weaknesses in there. And uh, what's great is I don't think we have a lot of weaknesses either. Uh, if anything, between the two of us, it's our, our bench gets a little thin once yeah. you get past the, you know those you know 13 or 14 guys. Nothing against our guys. We're just young. We're smaller yeah. school, and so are they. They're young with a smaller school, so there's only you can't get you know 18, 20 guys that can all ball the whole time. And so it's going to be you know come down to discipline and come down to um, staying smart and 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 uh, not emptying the gas too soon. And, see what we can do anything else you want to share coach about uh, this year's team as we as we search out here this is the final practice before the final four if you will here Very true. in swamp scott so uh, so what anything else you want to share with us about swamp scott lacrosse uh so you know we, these guys ball they, you know they, the grit is probably the, the number one thing they, they don't quit there's zero quitting them uh they, we've gone down a few times in a couple games and they've battled back no matter how long it takes 
and you know between like Winthrop coming back and winning OT to uh, Cohasset being down by three or four and just really uh, they stick with it and uh, can't ask for more and it all starts right here on the practice field.